So in this video we're going to look at the 2022 rollover process. So it's very similar to the previous years. In fact, it's exactly the same. Um, not much has changed in terms of SDS. So Microsoft will have a new version of SDS out next year. So that will completely change the process. But for this summer, um, this is a process that you go through to roll over your classes to the new academic year. So first we go into the SDS admin interface. If you're not sure where that is, you can go to all admin centers inside the admin center and choose school data sync. And that will take you to this page. Now you might have a single profile for this academic year. You might have multiple ones if you've got multiple schools inside a single tenant. And we're only going to do one at a time here. So the first one I'm going to go to is uh, the Cloud Academy demo. And this is one that needs to be rolled over. So before we start the new term and upload the new data, we need to run a group cleanup. And I can just click on the link there to take me to the uh, instructions on how to do that. Um, and the way that we do this is we just go to the, uh, the people area inside the admin center. Then go to memberships and first we create a group report and then we're going to use that group report to create our cleanup. You might have a, have a previous one here but you always need to generate a new one so you've got an up-to-date one for this summer. This may take a few minutes. So I've just waited a few minutes to refresh the page and I can see it's got 10th of uh, August which is today 2022 so I can download the section report. This will download a CSV file so when I open this up, I can filter this. So probably the best way to do this is just to convert it to a table. And then it just gives us a bit more flexibility when it comes to um, sorting these. So you could, you could find your teams that you want to archive by the creator date. Um, you might also need to find them by their prefix. If you've got multiple schools, you only want to roll over a single school at this time. Um, in this example, I need to do both. So in this, in this example, I already know that my old ones are archived off. It's only this 2021 classes that I want to archive. And I only want to archive them for one class that I've made sure that all my classes had a prefix uh, with that school code. So. I'm going to go into the section ID and add in some filters. I'm going to add in a contains and I'm going to put in the school code. And I'm also going to filter it by the ones that I've again prefixed with 2021. So that's really useful if you, when you're uploading your CSVs, make sure that you put the academic year and the school code in. Even if you're a single school, you never know when it's going to become a multi academy trust. And it just helps you when you get to this stage uh, filter that. So that's filtered it for me. And then I want to just do a quick check and make sure these are all OK. And that is correct. These are the ones that I want to be archived off. So what I'm going to do just to make things simple, I'm just this is probably the quickest way I've found of doing it, is just select all these ones I want to archive off. Go copy it. Just go create a new tab. Paste those in. So I've only got the... Uh, the classes that I want to archive off in here. And then just going to delete that old tab. Just go rename this to the same one so it's in the same the same format. Now we need to save this as a CSV with exactly the same name that it had before, section usage. So I'm just going to press save and that should have should have saved it now. So to do the group cleanup, we go back into the admin center, click group cleanup under memberships. And I've already generated my report, so I can go select a group report. And I can select that section usage report that I downloaded and edited in the earlier step. Click upload, click next. And I've got a couple of options here. Can mark it as expired? I don't need to do that because I've prefixed my class class uh, IDs well because we've added in the uh, academic year and the school prefix, so we don't need to do that at all. That would just probably make things a bit more difficult moving forward. So just going to archive them, run the cleanup, 
and this may take quite a long time to do what you might find is it might miss the odd odd class as well you might have to go in and tidy up a few afterwards um, but it does get most of them so again this this may take a while it's going to loop through all those classes and set the status to archived that will make them disappear they're still available um, in read-only mode the people are still going to be frozen in time in those class teams so nobody loses any any work um, but they are a bit more tricky to find and we've got another another post on how to find your archive class teams for the end user um, also with our class dashboard product it means you can use a time machine option just to jump back into those archive classes really quick and easily so we've waited about 10 minutes and then we go back into the group cleanup and it says it's been completed you can generate a new report and just check on the progress and make sure everything's archived you expect it to be archived so assuming that's worked um, we can then go back into the profile and we can start the new term and it won't strip out people now whereas it would have done before if we didn't archive them up and clean them up so it asks me to create a new profile ex expiry date i'm going to choose uh, 1st of july you may want to change that depending on when your academic year ends i'll try and give it a bit a bit of padding so you're if you're connected to your MI, so it doesn't strip out people um, if the academic year ends slightly earlier. Um, we just leave that, probably leave it set up as you had previously. Click save. And then we're ready to upload the new data. And then we select our new spreadsheets for the new academic year. Obviously, make sure those are correct before you upload them. Click upload and have been uploaded successfully. And it's the same process whether you're using version one of the spreadsheets, which I'm using at the moment, or version 2.1. Like I say, this process will change next year. It will be very different next year um, with completely different spreadsheet setups um, using version 2.1 and also a completely different uh, archive process. So we'll try and get that information to you well in advance. Uh, next summer so this is validating the files um, it may again it may take a while to process all those new classes um, but that's it you should be done then and it will create the new classes for the new academic year if you want to find out more information about how we can automate this process for you and help you adopt 365 in the classroom feel free to get in contact or contact details are on the screen